Hello. Uh, welcome home. <laughs> it is the evening. I uh, had a very busy day at work. So, um, not that I would have filmed anything anyway. I was just working, but now I am home. And I'm very excited about dinner because I have re signed up for the purple carrot, which is one of those, um, you know, like meal boxes where you cook the meal, but they send you all the ingredients. Uh, the purple carrot is a vegan specific one. So uh, they send you three meals for the week. Each meal serves one to two people, um, which is perfect for me because I eat the one meal a day. So in general, two portions, so one whole meal will be my whole meal. Um, and they give you the calories too, which is great. So this week I've got the green goddess bowl, which is some veggies and quinoa, which I don't really like quinoa. So um, not tonight. <laughs> And then this is the sesame orange udon, which are all things I love, so I'm very excited about that one. And then the one that I'm making tonight is vegan fish and chips. So it's, you know, french fries and the vegan fish, which is some sort of battered um, tofu with nori on it. Uh, looks really good. I mean, it looks really good in the picture. So we'll see. Uh, I'm doing this one tonight because it takes, oh, I dropped it on the floor. It takes about 40 minutes to cook where the other ones take 25 to 30 minutes to cook. And tonight I have the most amount of time to cook this week versus the other nights. Because tomorrow I've got a hair appointment and the next night I have the gym and so on and so on. Um, there's a squirrel outside. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you just get this gigantic box. It is. With all the ingredients in there. So I'm going to go through it and start cooking. I can't wait to eat it. I don't know if you'll be able to see this through the screen, but look at that squirrel. So he's hanging from this, like, hanging basket that you put bird seed in. <laughs> He's literally hanging by his back toes and eating food. He looks so chill. Okay, I've got everything out for the fish and chips. Um, it is funny that this says that this serves two um, and that it's 710 calories for one serving. But I don't know anyone that's only gonna eat half of a potato half of a block of tofu and call it dinner <laughs> I mean I may even log in the calories separately and just see how accurate that is but because I logged in that I was going to eat uh, one and a half servings because of uh, you know over 1400 calories for my meal was a little bit too much for me but I just don't know. I don't think it's gonna get there. But we'll see.
Okay, so I just checked on the fries and why they think they'd only take 20 minutes to cook, I have no idea. They're not even halfway done and they've been in for 30 minutes. Uh, this is the fish. Fish. Um, it's been cooking. The nori is an adorable touch, but it does not stay on when you're battering the tofu. So we'll see what actually comes out. Um, the tartar sauce is done and the slaw is done. So I'm just gonna keep cooking these and I don't know, wait for the fries, I guess. Time for a little update. So everything else is ready. Here's the fish, uh, the slaw, the tartar sauce, the mess, <laughs> uh, and the fries uh, I am finishing off in the hot pan that I cooked the fish in. It's got some avocado oil in the bottom. Uh, the recipe called for vegetable oil, but I actually just ran out, so I had to use whatever I had, which was avocado oil. Um, not ideal for frying, but it is what it is, and at least it'll taste good. So yeah, I'm just putting a final toast on these fries, and then I toss them and what I am most excited about in this recipe, toss them in malt vinegar powder, which I've never seen. I love malt vinegar, and I love malt vinegar on my fries, so it should be kind of cool. Um, so while I was waiting for the fries, I actually logged in all of the ingredients separately from the recipe, including their proper measurements and weight, uh, and it came out to 1,000 four calories versus the 1,420 calories that the card says. So they were very conservative. <laughs> I am going to add an extra like 200 just for the extra oil that I may be consuming by cooking my fries in the oil. But still, I can eat all of this, um, the whole recipe, and still be less than the calories that they said. So, awesome. I'm pretty excited about eating this. Okay, friends, here it is. Whole dish. Fries, fish, slaw, tartar sauce. Yes! thought you might want my review on this. Uh, I haven't really gotten into it yet, but fries are amazing. They're fries, so of course. The tofu fish is actually really good. I do wish the seaweed, you know, could stay on it. Um, it gives it a cool look, but it also gives it a really good flavor. So, um, yeah. And the tofu is a little soft. So my recommendation would be to press the tofu um, in a tofu press or with heavy books or whatever, just to get a little bit more of the moisture out. Cause if it was a little bit firmer, it would be better, but um, it's great and I love tofu, so. Like the texture is fine with me. And of course the slaw is wonderful because I love slaw. And the tartar sauce is great. So overall, very good. Very excited to tuck into this and eat it up. So remember when I was like, Psh, who in the world could only eat half a potato for a meal? Well, <laughs> uh, I was mistaken. Uh, this is what's left over. I ate all the fish, which was great. It actually got better and better the more I ate it. Um, about half the tartar sauce, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, half the potato, and a little bit more than half of the slaw. So, um, yeah, this meal was great. It was really good, and I'm watching some British crime shows so like <laughs> this sort of british fish and chips and um crime show is it's just giving me all the right kind of feels so uh, there's chai <laughs> she's exhausted from watching me cook i hope you enjoyed watching me cook and um i will see you again tomorrow